All right, what's up guys? Uh, happy Sunday. Um, I know we don't have a, a, a workout on Sundays here, uh, but today we're just gonna have some special for y'all and do a nice mobility and recovery training. I know y'all have been doing all the workouts uh, throughout the week um, and we just wanna have some special for y'all, do, do a little uh, recovery. Um, again, we've been working hard in the studio, trying to get uh, y'all videos and stuff like that. Um, and I know y'all been working hard, uh, so we just wanna do this. Um, but today we're just gonna work uh, with a few things, a uh, few things you'll need, or maybe not need, but uh, we're gonna use a lacrosse ball and a rope. I know some of y'all don't have those two things in the, uh, at home, but you can also use a belt for the rope, and you can use a, a long towel for the rope as well. Um, and then for the lacrosse ball, you can also use a, a tennis ball, um, a golf ball and a baseball may be a little bit too hard. We don't want it too hard and we don't want it too soft, uh, but just something nice and firm. You can use it like a, uh, um, what is it called? A, um, no, one of those um, stress balls, a stress ball. You can use a stress ball. Uh, yeah. That works as fine as well. Uh, but either those are fine. This is just two things we'll, we'll use in the video today. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. Even if your kids have a bouncy ball too. That works as fine as well. All right, but we're just gonna start off just rolling those feet out, working that fascia out of that foot. Um, I know a lot of y'all have, uh, I've, I know a few members have plantar fasciitis, um, and that's, uh, it, this helps a lot with it. It helps that, work that, uh, that muscle out, kind of loosening it up a little bit. Uh, just, I just want you to roll all the way through that, the arches of the feet, uh, through the balls of the feet. You can all, even come up on the toes. Uh, you can go through that heel, just work it out, go side to side, up and down all that good stuff, just roll it out nice and smooth. Um, and then once you feel it nice and smooth in that foot, you can also switch switch feet, do the same thing on that side. Um, also, all the way through these videos, you can also pause it. If you're feeling like it's feeling too good to move forward, just pause it, wait, uh, and we're, we're gonna move forward and kind of flow through it, but you can pause it whenever uh, it's on your time. But again, just rolling that feet out, that both feet out, right foot, left foot, and you can go back and forth from there. Um, but after that, if you're feeling uh, good with that, you can move on. We're going to move into the calf. Um, you're going to lay down on your uh, on your butt here, and you're just going to roll through that lower calf part. So right right above that ankle, behind that uh, killer spot, and you're just going to go side to side, left and left and right, and then forward and back. That's the movement we're going to use most mostly today. Um, so you're just going to go side to side, forward and back, all the way through that uh, that lower. Uh, that, that lower ankle ankle part behind the ankle you're just going to roll that part out uh, make sure it's nice and loose and we're just going to work ourselves all the way up throughout the leg here so as soon as you're feeling that spot just move it up slightly do the same thing going back and forth side to side all the way through there uh, again notice how he's, he has his hands under him picking that body up so you have a little bit more uh, range of motion moving around there and you're just going to go back and forth all the way throughout as soon as you're finished with that again move back further towards that bigger part of that calf and you're just going to go side to side side to side roll that part out you can also move the foot to the side so you're working the side of that calf as well inside of it um, all that good stuff and you're just going to work yourself upwards to that uh, towards that uh, upper calf almost to that the back of the knee you're just going to work it throughout there once you get to the back of that knee it's going to hurt a little uh, slightly more uh, you're going to do the same thing just working it forward back side to side all the way through the back of that knee uh, just going back and forth just like so um, notice how again he's up off, off uh, he's not sitting flat on the ground uh, he's just nice and moving it out and just like so keep notice how his foot is flexed as well you want to keep all the tension uh, back from there uh, doing that as well and then now we're going to move into the hamstring so the hamstring is going to be a little bit it's a bigger muscle so it's going to be a little bit tighter it's going to we do a lot of hinge movements here with rdls and uh and deadlifts and stuff like that so we really want to work out that uh that hamstring um he is kind of not putting as much pressure on it right now but the more you, the less you feel uh if it's not as tender you can also throw that leg over and it's gonna put a little bit more pressure on it so you're pushing down a little bit more. So once we push down a little bit more, it's gonna have a lot more pressure on it so you're pushing down uh, right into that, those pressure points and you just really wanna knock some of that tension out. If you got knots, just roll over that a few times, more than, more than a few times, just rolling it out, going side to side, up and down like we've been doing for all the other parts. The more you feel comfortable, you're still, again, you're just moving all the way through up that leg. Um, and then the lower you go, you're gonna get right under that glute where the glute and the, the hamstring connect. You're just gonna work that spot out. Most of the time we like to 
just go side to side on this part since that it's just rolling over that big muscle coming all the way back. Um, but once you get uh, comfortable with that, you're gonna move a little bit further up to that glute. So now we're gonna work that glute out um, a lot. Uh, the best way to kind of work this, bring that ball right on that spot. Best way to work this, bend those legs. You're gonna just roll it out right over that. You can go side to side, it is a big uh, area here. So we're just gonna roll side to side. You can lean towards the side, lean back. You can go forward, back, just bending those legs back and forth. Make sure we are just going nice and smoothly. Um, if you want a little bit more here, you're gonna raise that foot over and crossing your legs. So it's gonna go like just like that. So whichever leg, uh, whichever glute you're working with that ball, the opposite leg is the one that's going over. So you are gonna put uh, pressure on that, just bending it through, also switch legs. Uh, you can also switch legs and make it the other way as well. No, switch legs like that. Uh, working the other way. So you are gonna go uh, right foot over the other one, and that's gonna work a little bit more, stretch it out, and you're just gonna roll all the way throughout that. Um, with this, you can also use a foam roller. That works as well with, uh, with this uh, exercise as well. You're just gonna roll back and forth, uh, just like that, uh, move it from there. And then after you finish that, you're just gonna switch legs. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Um, with the feet, we just did both feet standing up since we're already up there, but now we're just gonna work again that lower, uh, that lower calf right behind that Achilles, right behind that ankle. You're just gonna work that all the way through. Again, side to side, front and back, left to right, all that good stuff. You know, circles, all that good stuff. So after that, going backwards a little bit, again, working that uh, that lower calf, just stretching that out. You notice how, it's, again, his foot is flexed, pulled up towards that knee, just going all the way through it, just like so. And then pulling back a little bit more. Tony got a lot of scratches all up his shins it does not look pretty at all thanks man <laughs> appreciate it our good brandon is behind the camera kind of directing me where to go on that good stuff kind of blocking my view sorry we got we got yeah there you go here. i'm um, the center of attention we're all good uh no he's not i'm the one talking uh but again we're just going backwards S still coming up that leg all the way through working that that big part of that calf side to side up and back forward forward Force the back side to side, all that good stuff. Uh, and then again, once we get closer to the back of that knee, it's gonna hurt a little bit more. Just make sure we're still trying to keep that knee locked out, that toe flexed towards that, uh, that knee, keeping that leg nice and straight, and then working that muscle out all the way through. Uh, and then again, biggest part of the leg right here, that hamstring, uh, just working that out. Brent is doing abs in the back of the camera, working it, ab man, uh, again, Working it back and forth, side to side, all that good stuff. Um, notice how, again, he's keeping that leg nice and straight. Always want to keep that leg straight, that knee bent out, um, not bent out, straight out. Just going all the way through there. And then now, once we get closer, uh, once it gets nice and loose, you can also put that leg over the top, make it a little bit more uh, difficult, make it a little bit more tighter, put pressure on it, dig in that hamstring uh, from there. Uh, and then once we're finished with that, we can start sliding up towards that glute part. Um, and we really just want to work that, that muscle out. So here, you, again, you're just bending that leg. It's going to work a little bit more. Um, and you're just going to roll it out. This is, uh, I know we do a lot of uh, hip hinge movements. A lot of people feel the, the, uh, a lot of pressure in their back, a lot of lower back pain. This connects everywhere. So you can also, um, if you're feeling this, you can, if you're feeling back pain, you can also use it on that glute. Just work that, all that uh, fascia out and just work it out. Also, it does connect to the bottom of your feet. You can also work the bottom of your feet. If you're feeling lower back pain, it does connect all the way down there as well. Uh, again, glute, bottom of the feet, all that good stuff works as well. Um, and then from here, we're just gonna roll over on the side and we're gonna stretch, we're gonna uh, roll out that the IT band. So um, it comes all the way from the knee up to the hip. So we're going hip to knee. Uh, it's just gonna work that side. You're just gonna roll on your side and just roll up and down all the way through it. You can kind of zigzag all the way down it as well. Uh, notice how he's putting, he's kind of in a side plank with that elbow and just going side to side, rolling it out. This should feel slightly painful, um, but if you're stretched out enough, it will feel great. Um, so again, make sure we are um, keeping our body off the ground as much as possible until we feel like uh, we need a little bit more pressure so we can start laying on that ball a little bit more. We're just going back and forth, nice and slow, just like that. 
once we feel it good, it's feel feeling good in that, in that part of the body, we can also just flip it over to the other leg as well. Notice how this knee, this, this uh, foot over here is pressing down. So he did cross his foot. So that foot is gonna be uh, the one you're not stretching out. That foot is gonna be holding yourself up, helping that arm to hold you up. You're just gonna roll back and forth. This other foot that's laying down shouldn't be too, doing too much. You are just going back and forth, just like so. Um, Stretch it out, going back and forth. How you doing, Brandon? Doing good. Doing good. Chilling. 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 Let Tony stretch out here a little bit more. Again, that IT band helps a lot going through any type of movements. We do a lot of functional movements, so that helps a lot as well um, going out from there. Um, once we're done with that IT band, um, we're going to go up. Since we did all the legs, we're going to go. Uh, we haven't done all the legs actually, so we're gonna flip over to our stomach and we're gonna do the quads. We're just, this is a very big part too as well when we're doing a lot of squats, stuff like that. Front squats, the kettlebell, front, uh, front rack squats, sumo squats, all that good stuff. We're just gonna roll out that, uh, that uh, quad. Uh, a lot of people like to use this, use the foam roller in this position and we're just rolling on that foam roller. It's gonna be kind of the same, same uh, I guess, technique. You're just gonna do, it's gonna dig a lot deeper. It's gonna get in a lot of more um, pressure points in there and just dig. Uh, again, notice how he's not putting too much pressure on it to where he's just laying flat on the wall. He's keeping his uh, elbow under him and his other leg is also supporting him. And he's just rolling over those muscles, just going back and forth, side to side, like we've been doing every other muscle. Again, back and forth, side to side. Just rolling it out nice and slow. This does take time. Stretching and, and mobility work all takes time. It's not going to feel good. Um, some parts might feel good. Some parts might feel terrible, but if it feels terrible, we do need it. Um, and again, stretching is a vital part in fitness and all that good stuff. So we do need to do it. I recommend doing it every day. Just a nice five to 10 minutes out of your day. Just stretch out, anything like that. If you know me, if you know, um, uh, me and Tony hang out a lot, and anytime we're hanging out, he knows that if we're watching TV or something, I'm gonna drop down on the floor and start stretching for no reason. That is a very true story. Anytime, anytime. I just, it's, it doesn't feel just wonderful, but it, it helps. It helps a lot. It ain't a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Exactly, exactly. Again, just rolling out that, that, uh, that quad, doing both legs. You're gonna go right leg or left leg or left leg to right leg. Either one is fine. Uh, again, we're working all the way through the back of that leg. And then we're gonna go, and then we did uh, that IT band on the side of the leg, and then we flipped all the way over to where we're doing that quad. Um, and then now we're gonna go into the upper back, the upper body with that back and that mid back and uh, lower back. So we're really just gonna go all the way through those two uh, muscles going down uh, this outside of that spine. So we're going all the way up to those rhomboids. And we're just gonna lay flat. Notice how he, bent, he bends his knees like we're about to do a hip thrust. Uh, so we're not putting too much pressure on that back, so we're not laying flat on that uh, on that ball. You just really want to roll it out, kind of feel it out where those prep, where those spots are. I know we have a lot of people that have lower back pain here, so we should do a lot of uh, a lot of hip hinge movements and a lot of RDLs and a lot of bent over rows and all that good stuff. It does put a lot of pressure on that back, holding that weight up. So this will help a little bit. Will help uh, take a lot of uh, the pain out. Um, so again, we're just rolling on those spots that's tender and just rolling those knots out and all that good stuff. Make sure we're not too tight. Um, we're just going to go one side. You're going to try to do one side first, kind of roll it all the way down. Uh, we just want to feel where that big muscle is, where it is, and you're just going to roll all the way up your back. Once you finish that side, we're just going to go over to the next side. Um, and again, notice how you just picked it up moved it up to the side, you don't have to roll it all the way down your back. You can also just move that ball to where you're standing in one place, and just rolling over those, those knots and tight spots, tender spots. Keep rolling. Again, notice those, those feet. He's not letting the feet just stay flat to where he's laying flat on the ball. You to keep it under nice and supported, going all the way through. You can come all the way up uh, to those, uh, that other back. We are gonna do, coming in a few weeks, we are gonna do a little bit more of the upper back and a little bit of the traps and uh, kind of the arms and stuff like that. But today we're just gonna focus on uh, mostly the hips, uh, the legs, the, the uh, quads, calves, all that good stuff, the lower feet, uh, all that good stuff. But again, in the coming weeks, we will do more arms and chest and 
kind of just rolling out just different parts of the body. And guys, I just went from my lower back on my left side all the way up to my shoulder blades. And now I switch sides and I'm at my lower right back, rolling all the way up to my right side on my shoulder blade. Again, just fill it out. You're, you're you, you're in your own home. You're filling it out. You can move however you want. Um, also, if you, if you don't know uh, what we're talking about or how we're doing it, you can also, uh, I mean, you can uh, DM our, our social media pages, kind of contact one of us. Drop I know a lot of y'all have uh, some of our social medias like Instagram or Facebook. You can message us there, ask us a few questions. Um, Again, we are here to help. Um, you don't always have to text the actual studio. You can text us, get us, get in contact with us, all that good stuff. We'll help you out, we'll be happy to. Um, but again, he's just going up and down his back all the way through. Um, and once we finish here with the lower back, we're gonna start into more of a warm up, um, warm up part. It's not really a warm up, but we are just gonna warm that body up, we'll, we'll be moving a little bit quicker, we'll be flowing through the exercises, it'll be a lot more, you have, you'll start breathing a little bit harder, um, but we are gonna work mostly hips, the range of motion in the hips, the mobility, all that good stuff, um, just anywhere, uh, through the legs, all that good stuff, ankles. Uh, but first we're gonna start off with the cat cow. So the cat cow is basically gonna be in all fours position. Most of the stuff right now we're gonna do is all fours, so you can be in that all fours position. The cat is when you bring that back up, a scared cat coming through, make sure you're breathing, you hear that loud, big breath coming in, and then and then all the way through, have that nice arch in the back going all the way through. You're just gonna do this quick, nice and smooth. Again, have big breaths. You wanna breathe all the way through. Uh, you're gonna do about five to 10 reps here. We're gonna do five today, but you can keep going. Again, you can pause the video, all that good stuff. I think you're on three now, right, Tony? Yep. He's on three. Make so sure you're breathing out on the cow. Yep. And in on the cat. Sorry, in on the cat. Am I, am I mixed up? I have no clue. We're not we're just gonna in on the cat. Make right? sure we're breathing in, in, in on, the cow. on the cow, so I'm breathing out on the out cat. In the cat. Something like that. And we're just gonna breathe keep in. And then, nice. Final one. Make sure we're roll, we're pushing those hips forward and we're going out into that cat. So we are uh, pushing those hips forward and then rolling that back out nice and smooth and then switching it to that uh, cow position. Going back. We are gonna stay in that all fours position. We're gonna start going into that, uh, that scap separation. So we are going, think of, um, going to your to your wrist to the ceiling so when we go to the wrist we are not separating that that scap all the way out notice how his, his arm that's on the ground is all the way locked out and I know it's, uh, I know a lot of people uh, tend to kind of bend that arm you don't want to bend it you want to keep it nice and stacked over that wrist nice and straight all the way through notice how he's going all the way in separating that scap right here pulling it outwards and then once he comes up, reaching for that ceiling, he's gonna squeeze that back. Notice how his hips are nice and still as well. You don't wanna be bending the hips and turning the hips too much. When five reps reach here all, as well. all the way through, and then all the way back up again. We are going five reps here, um, all the way down, all the way up. And then we're gonna do the other side as well. As soon as you finish five reps on that side, we're gonna move to the other side. Gonna do the same thing again, squeeze in here, and then as soon as we're going in, make sure also we are breathing. That's a big part. We're breathing through these exercises. Don't, don't want to be holding our breath too much. Going all the way down, reaching for that wrist, and then right back up, squeeze that back. His uh, hand is right behind that ear. We're going all the way through. Make sure we are turning that upper body, uh, not just turning the elbow. You don't want to be moving too much elbow. And we are turning, getting that full range of motion all the way through. Again, we're gonna do five reps on each side, and then once we finish those, those all 10 reps, we're gonna to switch to that, uh, that under reach. So we're gonna go stay in this, uh, this all four position. You're gonna reach under all the way through. Make sure again, we're trying to keep those hips nice and still. And we're getting that shoulder to touch the ground. So we are reaching all the way through. We're gonna come right back up, reach all the way up as far as you can. Let those eyes follow the hand, and then right back under, letting that shoulder touch the ground, letting that arm lay flat all the way through. And again, five reps on this side, and we're gonna switch it to five reps on the other side. 
Notice how you're nice and breathing. And then you're gonna push all the way up. Reach as far as you can. Right back through. Again, letting that shoulder touch the ground. And then, as soon as you finish five reps on that side, you're gonna switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side. All the way up. And all the way through. Letting that shoulder touch the ground. Like I said. Again, squeeze. Breathe. Letting those eyes follow. Coming all the way back under. Again, five reps on each side. Going back and forth from there. Again, keeping those hips nice and still. You're going to create the range of motion all the way through those hips and those uh, that torso, reaching all the way through, back and forth from there. Just like so. Um, now we're going to go. Uh, now we're going to go into a lot more hip mobility. It's going to flow a little bit quicker. Uh, we're going to do all the ones on the right side, right leg, and then we're going to go all the way on the left leg. All right. So the first one, uh, we have fire hydrants. It's just opening that hip up, going side to going out with the side. So you're going to do about 10 reps here. You're not letting that knee touch. You're just right back up, just coming in and then out. You're trying to keep those hips still, keeping those arms locked out, keeping those arms on the floor and just reaching out, opening that hip up. Really want to feel it as much as you can, trying to bring that leg up high as you can. To stretching it, yeah, stretching out that hip. Uh, so as you finish 10 on that side, you're gonna flip to 10 on the, oh, sorry, you're not going to 10, we're gonna go all uh, 10, all right leg first. So now we're going into forward circles. So you're gonna go forward and then come outwards. Yep, just like so. You're gonna go all the way through, make sure we're opening that hip up. It's like you would do your shoulder, opening it up, and then all the way through. A nice control, you don't wanna go too fast, don't wanna go too slow, um, but make sure we're having it flowing through it. Again, it is not easy, but uh, it does help you a lot in your fitness journey. Um, all the way through there. Again, just opening that hip up. As soon as you finish 10 there, we're gonna go into reverse circle. So you're gonna flip, you're gonna just flip the rotation. So you're gonna go, if you were going forward the first time, you're gonna go backwards the other time, the next time. So you're just gonna go uh, the other way around, just going back and forth. Notice how that leg is extending out at the back. And then also when he comes up, he's bringing that knee up towards that torso and then right back out, opening that hip up and then going backwards from there, stretching that foot out at the back, coming right back under and then repeating all the way through 10 reps. Um, after, that, after that, you're gonna go uh, kneeling scorpion. So you are just pushing that heel up into the air. So notice how this should be a nice glute squeeze at the top with that one that's going up. You should feel it nice and heavy in that glute. You are just coming up. Notice how you bring that knee up to that chest. And then as soon as it gets up to that chest, you're kicking it back. It can be a nice bend in that, uh, in that knee here since you are reaching for the ceiling. So you are pushing your heel. The toe is nice and flexed towards his knee. And then that heel comes straight up to the ceiling. Straight up here. And again, that toe is pulling into that, uh, that, uh, that knee. Um, after you finish that, we're gonna have uh, our lateral ham raises. So with the uh, lateral ham reach, um, so we are going back, and then we're gonna come straight sideways. Here's is real difficult movement. You're gonna work that, uh, working that quad as well. You're gonna squeeze that quad all the way through, and then notice how he's bringing that toe. Again, most of the movements we do today, our toes are gonna be flexed towards our knee. So we are pulling that in. And we are coming all the way up to trying to get that. Uh, your thigh to touch that that elbow here. You're just coming all the way up, just kicking it forward, and then right back. You should feel a nice, nice tension in that hip, going back and forth. And then after you finish 10 reps there, you're gonna go uh, leg raises on the sides. So this is gonna open the hip as well. Coming all the way up as high as you can. Um, notice how his, his hips aren't moving too much. This hip is stacked right over that knee. And again, that, that back foot is uh, at a nice 90 degree angle. And you're just going all the way up, all the way down, high as you can. Uh, Ten reps there, too. Ten. Uh, and then once you finish that, that is the whole rotation on that side. So we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, we're starting with the fire hydrants, just opening that hip up, uh, working that, that, uh, that range of motion there. Again, keeping those hips nice and still, keeping those arms on the ground, those uh, elbows locked out all the way through just like so. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go into forward or reverse circles. You're gonna do the same thing, 
going big circles. Notice how his, his leg is going straight at the back. Nice little rotation coming in to that chest and then right back through, all the way through. Make sure we're trying to get that full range of motion there. Um, but again, you guys just making full circles all the way through. Just like so, once you finish 10 reps there, uh, you're gonna just flip it, go the other way around, going all the way through. Nice and smooth. Again, breathe. That is the biggest thing. Breathe through these exercises. You don't want to uh, be holding your breath here trying to get through it. You want to breathe. Feel your, feel your breathing. Know, know where, when to breathe, where to breathe. Uh, know where to feel it. We are feeling the hips here. We are stretching the hips. We're, we're not stretching it. We're building that range of motion, all that good stuff. Um, and then after that, we're going in the, the scorpions. So we are pushing that heel up into the air. Again, that nice big squeeze and that glute going up. So again, we are pushing that heel up towards the ceiling. You should feel it. A uh, nice big squeeze in that glute. Uh, we want him to push that knee towards up that way, just like that. Should be a nice big uh, squeeze there. Again, his arms are locked out, not turning the hips too much. Just going back and forth. From there, and then now we have the uh, the ham uh, reaches, so we are coming, uh, bringing that knee to that uh, to that elbow here, just going out, keeping that knee straight as possible all the way through. So you're going backward and then right to the side, uh, just like that. This is a difficult movement. You are trying to keep that uh, that leg straight out sideways, just going side to side, keeping that um, that leg off the ground. And after you finish 10 reps there, you're gonna move straight into those uh, leg raises. So you're gonna push that uh, foot to the side and you're just raising that leg up and down. Again, building that, that, uh, that hip strength in the leg as well here. Just raising that leg. This is not easy. As you can see, Tony is doing a little bit struggling here, but it is all good. I'm sweating. Um, yes, if you will sweat. It is a still workout. It is, uh, you're still getting your fitness on. Um, all that good stuff. So now we're gonna land our stomach. Um, we're good, a little bit done with the hips, I guess. We're gonna land our stomach. We're gonna do a little bit uh, of pro stretching. And now we're gonna go into our uh, cobra. So a lot of people have seen this with yoga and stuff like that, with the kind of the upper dog area. Cobra, cobra, cobra. Not that one, Superman. Yes. <laughs> so a lot of people see it with the upper dog or the downward, the upper dog. You just raise that chest up. You should feel a little bit stretching that lower back, and then also in that, that core stretching out that body. Uh, remember to breathe here. I'm gonna go back down. Just gonna go back into it. You can sit back in that um, in that child's pose if you need to. Then you're going right back into it. We're gonna do nice five to ten reps here as well. Uh, we're gonna do five today, but you can keep going if you would like to. Just sit back in that nice seated position and right back up. Make sure we are pushing that chest through those shoulders. You don't wanna just kind of lag and be like this caved in ch chest. You don't wanna push that chest out, have a nice tall um, reach with that, uh, that chin. Right back up, just like that. <sighs> Breathing. That's the biggest thing, breathing through. You wanna feel the stretches. You wanna feel it uh, when you're tensed up. You don't feel anything, you just feel tensed up and not feeling uh, a nice stretch. After that, we're gonna go into the Superman, um, into a, a skydiving position. So Superman, our feet are gonna be up nice and high. Your feet and arms are gonna be up. And then once we get to the back, we're gonna have a nice rotation to our palms are facing the ceiling. So you really wanna have a nice other way that you know, our palms are going to be facing upwards towards that ceiling that chest is going to be nice and up and then once we go up our palms are going to be facing the ground so superman up and then on the way back our palms are going to be facing the ceiling up at the top getting that chest nice and tall nice and out you really want to have a nice big stretch uh, there going all the way out notice how it is not easy like i said um, uh, but it is very beneficial going all the way through again we're going to do like five to 10 reps here, and then we'll switch it up, going into our scorpion. Our scorpion is just basically a nice big, uh, nice big stretch, stretching that back out, that spine, uh, having a nice rotation on the spine. Uh, so again, we do this a lot uh, uh, in our stretches in the studio. Uh, 
Um, we'll have our both, both of our hands laying out flat. You're just gonna roll that other foot back over, trying to reach to that other hand. And you're just gonna roll out, stretching and turning that spine, kind of uh, filling out where that mobility lies in your back. And you're just gonna go back and forth. You're gonna do 10 reps here since you go on both sides. You're gonna go five on the left, five on the right. Just going back and forth. Again, make sure we're feeling that nice big stretch. You don't wanna be too slow, don't wanna be too fast. Just going back and forth, nice and still. Just like so. Again, notice how the shoulder's staying flat. The other one is, you're not reaching back here. You want to try to keep this flattest posture as possible with that upper body. You're throwing that back leg back here. You should feel a nice squeeze in that, in that glute as well. And this one right here, you feel the squeeze in that one. And then turning that one out over on that hip, going back and forth uh, from there. Um, and then after that, you're gonna drop back into a child's pose in your resting position. That resting position will be that child's pose. We're gonna just have a nice little breathing session here again. Find your breaths, find your breathing. Uh, just kind of relax here. This is the resting position, so you are resting here. Make sure those arms are real nice and wide out. You're bringing that body out to a nice big, uh, long stretch. Again, find your breathing, slow it down a little bit. Kind of lower your heart rate here. The best way to lower it, just kind of rest. Let your head relax, let that arms come out, stretch those lats out. And then after this, we're gonna come up on our feet. We're gonna go into a squatting uh, position. And we're gonna have a nice squatting position. Find your balance, find all your feet are nice and flat on the ground. It is, it is to, better to do this with no shoes on. You don't have to have barefoot like Tony is, but you can be, um, Fair looks good. Don't have your, have your shoes on here. Um, notice how his elbows are inside his knees. You wanna keep them there, like how we do frog squats. You wanna keep those elbows right inside the knees. You're gonna rotate out into a, a T. You know how we do push up into a T. Same thing, but let those eyes follow that hand all the way up. You notice how his hips are nice and stable. He's not turning his hips. And with this elbow right here, he's keeping that, uh, that that knee straight, you wanna keep that elbow straight. So you're not pulling in too far, you're not too pull, pushing out too wide. You're gonna keep it right there, and turn all the way out. Um, How many reps are you doing, Brandon? We're gonna do five on each side. So we're gonna do five on the left, five on the right. Again, make sure those eyes are following that hand. So we're going all the way up. If we're having it like this, we're not getting our full range of motion. So we wanna let those eyes follow. Again, on the other side, you wanna keep that knee right, I mean, that, that elbow right inside the knee. Going all the way up. And then all the way back here, notice how he's, co he's connecting his hands at the bottom and then reaching all the way out, just like so. All the way up, again, let those eyes follow. And then after we finish five reps on that side, we're gonna drop down into a lower squatted position. So we are gonna feel a little bit more in our hips in that low squat. So we're gonna push our tailbone forward under us doing that low squat as well. Again, the hips stay still as possible. Again, the same movement we're gonna do right on the left, right on the, uh, right on the left, five on the left, five on the right, going back and forth, uh, just like so. Again, letting those eyes follow that hand, feeling that nice squeeze in that back when we go all the way up. So notice how his scaps come together right here. We're gonna come all the way up. If you have somebody, you can also uh, help them by doing like this, keeping it nice and pulled back and going just back and forth. You are working for mobility here, so you are, uh, you really wanna, feel it a lot deeper, uh, so we are coming back. Uh, again, we are flowing through this, it's not a stretch. We are flowing through this, kind of building that mobility up, going back and forth, uh, stretching that back out uh, from there. Keep going back and forth. Nobody's behind the camera. Five and five and inside, now. guys. Rolling now. Let's go. Now we're gonna go into our world's greatest, um, our world's greatest uh, stretch with, with the reach. So we are stepping, it's gonna be a lot of different movements here, it's a lot of complex movements. So you're gonna step forward and more to like a lunge. You're gonna get that, uh, that same leg that stretched out, that went forward, you're gonna get that same elbow and you're gonna press it towards that foot. Once you reach to that foot, you're gonna bring, uh, you're gonna sit back, stretching that hamstring out, pulling that toe towards you. And then you're gonna go back into that lunge and then you're gonna reach out to that ceiling. So you're gonna go all the way through and then that's one rep. You're gonna do five on each side. You're gonna go right back down into that. Um, same leg, same leg. Same, same, same leg. And you're gonna reach down. Boom, sit back, stretching that hamstring. Getting that elbow right back into it. 
And then now you're reaching all the way up. Again, letting those eyes follow that hand all the way up. Feeling that full stretch. Again, keeping that other elbow straight. And then again, back into that hamstring stretch. Knee, uh, elbow right to that foot. Reaching back. Again, you're gonna do five reps on each side. So you're gonna do five on the left, and then you're gonna rotate to five on the right. Again, one full rep will be uh, elbow to, to toe, sitting back on the stretch of that hamstring, back to elbow to toe, and then reach it up, and that'll be one rep. So you're gonna do five of those uh, in total. Once you finish those five, you're just gonna do the same thing on the other foot. You're gonna stand all the way up, and then back into that, that lunge position, uh, reaching for that, uh, that toe. Right there, you're gonna step up, and then now you're just switching sides, doing the same thing on the other side. Uh, from there. So again, same leg that's out in front, same arm, same elbow that you're reaching down with. You're just gonna go sitting back, stretching that hamstring, going back into it, reaching down, and then opening it up. You're gonna open up to where your chest is towards the inside of that front leg. So you're stretching out, make sure we're getting that nice turn in that spine, uh, stretching it as far as you can out. You Push back, get that chest to go back as well with that arm. You don't want to just throw your arm back. You really want to feel that nice big stretch um, in that spine all the way through. I don't know what Brennan did, but he messed up our music and I don't know where it is. It's not comfortable. There we go. Give it a second. Again, we're just going to do five reps, five reps, five and five. Uh, you can do these reps as many as possible, uh, but we recommend at least five. Try to range from five to 10, wherever you're comfortable with, uh, but you can do it as much as you want. You can, again, you can also pause it whenever you want. So if you want to feel a little bit more, you want to go a little bit deeper uh, in any of those stretches we did today, um, that is fine as well. But after that, uh, we're going to go into our rope stretches. Uh, this will be the last uh, thing we do. Again, grab your towel, grab your belt. Uh, I know a lot of you don't have belts at home if you don't have a rope. But we're going to use a rope today. Just make sure it's nice and stable. It's not stretching. Uh, you can actually use a resistance band if you would like, or a power band. Uh, that works as well. Uh, but today we're going to work. Uh, I know a lot of y'all in the morning, like when Tony does his rope stretches, um, I personally don't do them, but um, that is fine as well. Brendan also mm -hmm. shaking his head. Nope. He said he does not want to do the rope stretches. Uh, no, sir. But you are just going to lay on your back here. Uh, you're gonna keep that foot nice and flat. We're not pointing it yet, and we're not uh, we're not pointing it or flexing it yet. We're just gonna keep it nice and flat. Um, and again, here the rope is to pull uh, that leg back. So uh, kind of find a spot in the ceiling, find where that point um, is, and if you can reach that, if you can reach that point right there, try to pass that point to so really pull back as far as you can while keeping that other leg flat on the ground. You don't want to pull it up too much. Um, you're gonna keep it nice and flat and try to reach back as far as you can, uh, stretching that hamstring out. Um, and then uh, after that, you can point that, that toe towards you, and now we're kind of stretching more of that, uh, that calf. So once we get to that calf part, you really wanna pull, flex that toe into you. You should feel a nice big stretch all the way through uh, his calf right there. You're just gonna feel it. Kind of spend tw uh, 15 to 20, 15 to 30 seconds in each stretch we do. Um, and we're just gonna go back and forth just like that. Um, and then uh, from there, you're gonna drop your heel across your body. You're gonna stretch uh, that IT band. And you're gonna pull just like that. And you're gonna let that toe fall all the way across your body. Um, I would recommend uh, grabbing it with the left hand and then letting this other arm, the right arm, stay on the ground. Whichever arm, whichever leg is reaching across, whichever leg is reaching across, that's the same arm. That's the same arm that's gonna lay flat on the ground as well. So you, your other leg wouldn't be flat on the ground, but you wanna let that leg reach all the way across. Again, we are stretching, turning that spine around, all that good stuff. Uh, stretching the IT band all the way, from, again, hip to knee, going all the way down the side of that leg. What you're doing there again 15 to 30 seconds just stretching feeling that stretch out feel as long as possible um, just going all the way through there now we're going to go um, we're going to stretch that hip so we're going to go um, we're going to go uh, adductors what is it abductors abductors Ab abductor yes we got it we're going to go outside so we're going to let that foot come outside his toe is flexed still here Again, keeping that other leg flat on the ground. 
reaching out just like so. You're gonna feel a stretch in that in that groin area and just again keeping that back nice and flat on the ground all the way out. Going all the way through. Then now we're gonna pull that knee in. Both knees should come in, you're gonna cross it over like you're sitting, like a lot of a lot of um, a lot of people like to sit like this. But you're just gonna pull in, you're gonna push that knee uh, away from you, and you're gonna pull that toe into you. So you should be pulling with this, the rope, you should be pulling, at, pushing out with the knee. So you are just feeling that stretch in that hip area, and just pulling, pulling, go as far as you can. If you wanna make it a little bit more advanced, you wanna make it a little bit harder, uh, if you got a nice stretch, you can also lift that leg up, pull in a little bit more with that, uh, that rope and that knee, and then again, push out, you should have a nice big turn uh, in that hip. And then from there, uh, we're gonna go into our, uh, our uh, quad area. So we are just gonna flip over. So we're gonna pull in just like that. Um, just like that, you're gonna feel a nice stretch in that quad. If you wanna feel a little bit more, you can raise that knee up just like that. And this how his leg is raised up off the ground. And again, pulling into you, his hand is right behind his ear, pulling down, uh, pulling that rope down on that belt or that towel that you're using. So you're gonna raise it, you're gonna stretch that nice, that, that quad area nice and, uh, and easy. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, um, but after you finish that, you're just gonna switch sides. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Uh, again, keeping that foot nice and flat. Pull it towards you, getting that hamstring nice and straight, keeping this leg flat on the ground. You're just gonna push this all the way through. Again, find a spot on the ceiling, try to pass that spot uh, each and every second. Just kind of pull towards you. Again, stretching should not be comfortable. You should not be comfortable in this position. Um, if you feel comfortable, that means you need to progress it a little bit more, make it a little bit harder, uh, so you get more and more flexible every day. Uh, but again, that's the goal. Try to be more flexible, be more uh, agile in everything we do here in functional training, all that good stuff. Again, now we're flexing that toe backwards towards you, so we're trying to uh, uh, stretch that calf a little bit more now. Again, flexing it towards you, pulling that toe towards your face, and just stretching that calf nice and strong. Uh, here you can kind of bend the knee slightly because we're not stretching the hamstring anymore. Uh, so we are just pulling that toe towards you and we're stretching that hamstring. Now we are stretching uh, the IT band again. We're just pulling that all the way over. You should feel a little bit in that glute as well. And we are just pulling towards you. You can uh, want to stretch a little bit more. You pull that rope or that uh, belt closer to your face, uh, kind of help you out. But again, you want to keep that other leg flat on the ground. You don't want to raise it. You don't want to pull it towards you. Uh, you want to keep it as far as away as possible. Again, pull it towards your face all the way through. You are breathing. We're spending about 15 to 30 seconds here at each exercise. <clears throat> Once you're finished there, you're gonna go outwards. Same thing, just opening it up, just like so. Feeling that nice big stretch again, keeping that leg straight. Uh, keeping that upper back on the ground the entire time. Just breathing through, breathing through. How you feeling, Brandon? Feeling good. You sure? I think we're rocking and rolling. They get rocking and rolling. <laughs> After we're done with that, you come in, bring that leg on top of each other again. A lot of people like sitting like this in a chair. Um, you just bring that, pushing that knee away from you, pulling that toe into you, going back and forth, just like that. Do a nice big stretch in that hip. Again, if you want to progress it, make it a little bit harder. Pick that leg up. Have a nice bigger stretch into that leg, into that uh, that hip, going all the way through. Again, it should not be easy. You should be breathing, all that good stuff. I know I'm reminding y'all a lot to breathe, and it, it should not be easy, all that good stuff. Again, we're gonna roll it over, stretching that quad. Stretching that quad, I don't need that paper anymore. We're good, nice and smooth. Again, you can progress it, make it a little bit harder. Uh, have a nice 
deeper stretch by picking that knee up off the ground. I'm gonna have a nice big pull. Again, anybody can do these stretches. You can have your, your, your uh, friends, family, sisters, brothers, moms, dads, daughters, sons, grandpa, grandma, everybody. Just everybody can stretch. It's good for everybody. Even if you don't do fitness or you don't work out or anything like that, you can always stretch. Uh, stretching could be uh, a hobby, I guess. Um, you can do it while you're watching TV. You can do it. Uh, before you, you can do it before we work out, you can do it after we work out, you can do it uh, eating, you can do it, um, I don't know, texting, you can do it, don't do it driving, but we can do it um, laying down, you can do it um, when you get out of bed in the morning, when you, after you eat breakfast, the best thing to do is when you're getting out of bed, before you go to bed, um, anytime you wanna stretch, just stretch it out. You can also just rewatch this video, you can do it whenever you want. Um, again, I know we don't do workouts on Sundays. It is kind of our recovery days. Uh, you do need recovery. Recovery is, and rest is just as important as working out. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's vital. But um, again, thank you all for staying with us throughout the weeks. Thank you for supporting. Um, thank Tony for being the, the stretch model today. Um, but Thanks for being a great instructor. Yes, thank you all. Um, but we'll see you all next week, starting tomorrow, Monday. Get ready for those workouts. Boom.